Good morning, Barbadians. Barbados lost today our fifth Prime Minister, Owen Seymour Arthur. Even as I visited Mr. Arthur yesterday, I'm still taken by the quickness of his passing. Indeed, this is one of the few occasions in public life that I struggle for words. had to make to convert our difficulties into opportunities. I'm also convinced that once we remain faithful to the pursuit of the very best Barbados way of doing things, our best days are still ahead of us. And all of our leaders have saw themselves as making the country better and passing it on to somebody else who will make it better in their time. For the first time, our generation must also feel that it has a duty to make its contribution to building a better Barbados and to pass on a better Barbados to the next generation that comes behind us. Make heaven, God serve the things are true. God serve the things are honest. God serve the things are just. God serve the things are pure. What sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are of good report? If there be any report, and if there be any report, then all things are of good This economy initiative is a metaphor of the change that is expected of us. It is not a finished product, nor a perfect instrument. It has been devised and carried out in the face of overwhelming odds. No other regional group, save and except for Europe, have dared to contemplate the creation of an economic union as ambitious in scope as that on which we are embarked in the Caribbean. But that we have come safe thus far, when so many others around us have faltered, give us the assurance that with perseverance, we shall reach the promised land. I'm obliged to you. I am approached by the government of Barbados to do something of significance for the benefit of my country. I could not possibly say no for good reasons. Um, I would love to be able to have a life in Barbados after politics. Um, I came out of Barbados in 1981. I was straight into public life in 1982. I've only spent, in my adult life, I've only spent 18 months outside politics. And the opportunity to have a life outside the politics, but still being helpful to the country, is something that is so alluring that I'm sure that if Mr. Barra had the option, he would have loved to have had that. Good health, I would manage my health. I hope that I could live for many, many years, but I do not need to be at the center of power to feel powerful. I feel fulfilled, and, and you all have to bear with me, bear with me that. So, yes, to give 40 years to represent your politics in Barbados will be to go beyond what any politician has ever done. And may I tell you that I am not interested in having a glorious death. 
that I have a young family and they have folks that want me to live. I really do. Sounds like people are saying people need to bring some more bread soups and... No, like you want me to have to talk to Leah. Yeah, you will have to talk to Leah. And, and, um, and to Isabel. And to Isabel. Yeah. Like they, and on Sunday evenings they go walk with my granddaughter on the hills of St. Philip and she looked for, for that. And my, I'm mean, telling my daughter who's very clear, said, Daddy, I would like my children to know you. And those things matter. They really do.